Welcome to part two. Hopefully you have seen part one. If you haven't, make sure to go and check it out. It was uploaded to my channel earlier today and today being Saturday, the 6th of January of the opening round. As you know, because you watched it, hopefully, we are trying to get 300 points on the free to play accounts. Let's show you where we are at so far, though. So far, we are at race number four completed. We are at 146 points. We scored a massive thriller of a race, 43 points for race number four in Abu Dhabi. We've gradually got better as we have raced, as you can see, 31, 34, 38, 43. And we are here now for race number five, part two of the video. Make sure to hit the like button. Let's get into it. Appreciate any support you give me. Hopefully you enjoy these videos. Race number five, it's a new one in GP. Monaco, baby! Are you excited for this one? It's the first time in years that Monaco has made it into a GP event. Obviously, F1 Clash 2023 sees Monaco return for the first time in a year, two years. And now we've got it in GP. But it's going to be trial and error with the strategies we do. P16 and P20 is the positions that we start. And I'm feeling a 4-4 and a 3-5 from the back is going to be tough. It is going to be tough. What are we going to run? We need the race start, so I'm simply going Street Shark. And we're going that softs. So we are going to go on to Merlion again on Yuki. Can we get the big points here in race five? It's a testing for the free-to-play account in Monaco. Let's give it our absolute best. So here we go. Good job damage is not on because I don't think every car would even get through this race. And here we go. Zhou Guan Yu, P16. Yuki, a massive start. And we are pushing each other through. What a start to the video. P12, P14. And that is a brilliant start. Yuki again taking command in this lap number one. And he's up to P9. He's going to get hung out to dry. Or is he? No, he's not. He's up to P8. What a start. And Zhou Guan Yu is bang there as well in P10. It's P7 and P10. And it could it get better? Yes, it can. Yuki Sonoda. P6, as he goes past the harbour, the crowd go wild, the boats rock side and side, the champagne is popping, and Yuki Sonoda is a man on a mission. P6, and can it get better as Lee looks to get past Charles Leclerc? <laughs> yes, it can. We're up to P5. Maybe Monaco is the hero already of a track, because we are absolutely flying. P5 and P9... Zhou Guan Yu just starting to feel the pressure a little bit and drops down to P10. But Alonso struggling out there as well. We've got some decent power level unit as well. So we're going to attack through this last few corners. Can we take Fernando Alonso? You bet we can because Yuki on his day can take absolutely anybody. Zhou Guan Yu looking at that Sergio Perez Red Bull cannot get by at the moment. We're doing a 4-4 and a 3-5. So we're going to just keep pushing. Can Yuki get past Lando Norris into the hairpin? No, he cannot. But he does take him at the next one, and he's up to P3. Zhou Guan Yu, because the rival is pushing, has just dropped a few places and comes down to P11. He's got Sergio Perez ahead, though. Can we get him into this part? Of course we can, because our car is looking good. We are P10. Yuki all the way from P3 now, coming in for the hard tyres. This is going to be a test of can the hard tyres survive here at Monaco against the AI. But Zhou Guan Yu is up to P number six, doing the one-stop as well, but on the medium tyres. Rival ahead doing four laps. That's an interesting on the softs. And we are already through into P5 with Zhou. Yuki Snow does P9. And we are just trying to eke out any extra... Moves and look at that. Oh, nearly thought we had him. Nearly thought we had Max into P9. We've used all the power unit on both drivers. And now it's a case of can we hang on? Yuki Sonoda is going to get some good moves here into P6. Zhou Guan Yu got to work hard. He's down to P14. He's going to be struggling on the old power unit. And we're going to just try and eat some of that out. Yuki defending hard from Max Verstappen. 
and he's defending very well. He keeps P6 whilst also gaining that PU. Zhou Guan Yu holding up Carlos Sainz, and it's looking okay for him. Still, Yuki has now put some daylight between him and Max with Zhou Guan Yu P13. There's a few more into the pits as well. And Zhou Guan Yu now up to P12. Component failure on the rival, just to add to the disappointment for them. And Zhou Guan Yu is taking P9 at the moment. Is there anyone else yet to pit? There is George Russell from P7, which is in our line of sight. Because Zhou Guan Yu is just right behind him now. And it's Perez. And it's Zhou Guan Yu past Perez. And it is looking good. We're going to push now with Sonoda. And here comes Zhou Guan Yu on that running out of tyres. George Russell struggling. Sonoda's right behind Norris. And he's going to get him. He's going to get P3. P2 now as he comes through. What a... This is the races we need. We said we were getting better as the race has gone on. I wasn't wrong. If we can get more than 43 points here, that's going to be beautiful. As now we're under pressure from the chasing pack. P2. Can we hold? We're going to try and close up with Zhou Guan Yu. But as you can see, power unit is really not our best friend again. But coming out for Sonoda, he's chasing. Have we got anyone coming in? No, we haven't. So at the minute, we're on 41 points. But we are pushing hard to try and close it. We've got two cars ahead, so we could equal that 43. But can we get any better? Sonoda is flying. P1 looks like it's out of reach. And it is in front. Lewis Hamilton that we are trying to catch. We are now right behind. We take both cars. Yes, we do. Zhou Guan Yu is up to P5. That is a brilliant move. We've got Norris and Verstappen, I think it is, or even Perez, I think. Verstappen and Norris. Is there any more room to get one more car? Can we get 44? I don't think we can. We're too far behind. But I tell you what, Yuki Tsunoda starting this on a flyer. It is P2 and P5 is another 43 points. And for our target of 150, that is what we absolutely needed. 43 points, a good race by the rival as well to take 34. And you can see level 8, level 4 running exactly what we did. And gone the right way with the strat up. So very good result by the rival in that race. Fair play and well done. So race number 6, Baku. We might have the same rival again, so... Looking forward to see what the rival can score here. We are at race six. There is a 71% chance of the wet stuff in this race. And let's see how we can get on. P19, Zhou Guan Yu. Difficult, difficult. And it's rain in two minutes and 30. So, Yuki, we're going to stick on the soft still. We're going to go mediums for Zhou Guan Yu. And we're going to go on to, what have we got? Probably Street Shark again. We need the race start. And we've got plenty of Merlion at the minute as well. So looking like we will go with that. Can we get off to another great scoring? If we can get 40 points plus, there's a chance. Especially when up there, there's rain coming in 2 minutes, 32. So good start needed. <laughs> can we get Rival going hard to mediums? Perfect and fast starts. Sonoda, can he find a way through this pack of cars at the minute he can't but Zhou Guan Yu has got a great start into P22 we're going to push through this first sector with the cars and it's Zhou Guan Yu taking up to P14 Yuki starting to find rhythm and get Sergeant and we're up to P13 as well Albon there as well and past the rival into P18 so we've made a decent start here it's two minutes until the rain comes in and we're just trying to eke out some more moves. Not to be, though, at the moment, as Sonoda comes past into P16. So we'll push down the straight and hold that power unit, and then we'll push out of the corners to try and make some amends. So this is where you want to push right now. Through this section, it's the best place to overtake, as you can see, and we move ourselves up to P12 and P14 now. And this could get even better. P13 for Yuki. And soft tyres is going to be perfect for him, I believe. 
And I think we're just going to be short one lap. And here's a push, Yuki Sonoda. Where has that speed come from? As we take P11, and he now comes in. Conserving down the straight, and sadly we got overtook. But we're up to P11. We're going to have to come back to the softs, and somehow the rival manages to get one on us. But we're going to just come back past, hopefully, through this section. Like so. Job done. Yuki, bang there. And these two might actually be on the same sort of pit lap now for when it gets to wet. So this is going to be interesting. We need Yuki to clear, especially that hard tyre, badly. Because that's going to hold us up. So we're going to try. Shogun Yu's had a really good first stint into P9. Rain is coming though. And down the straight we go. We've got to probably push a little bit harder here. Rival going to wet tyres already. And Yuki cannot get past. So a bit of a frustration for us. But we've got a good move there. And it's P11. Rival doesn't matter. We're going to pit. And we're up to P10 with Yuki. If we can get past Yuki here, we might be able to get a decent gap. Rival is on wet with both cars. He's going to be struggling. But it will come back to him as it starts to rain. And we had no choice but to push with Yuki. So we are about coming in now. And we are probably going to double stack. But Merlion and Shogun Yu coming in after might not make us. And we don't. We are already out. So it's a great pit stop. And we are Caesar South into P12. Shogun Yu coming out. When there's a lot of people obviously going for the wet tyres now as well. So we're going to try and get past some of these in the best section to overtake. P19. You can see Sonoda now just finding his way through. P11. And now behind Schroll. Zhouguan Yu P18 though. So it doesn't look great at the moment. And we're getting holed up by Mr. Schroll. But not anymore with through. So start cars starting to struggle. Then one still on the dry tyres. Are starting to really struggle in this wet. Rain as it comes down. P8, though. What about Zhou Guan Yu? Still P17. And I feel like there is a real flux of cars at the back here that all went to wets. We're going to push through here again. Can we find a way past? P16 is, and I think these cars all ahead now are struggling, but Zhou Guan Yu is going to get stuck in the traffic. He takes one car. Can he take any more? Yes, he can. He's up to P14. Yuki's to P7. And now we are passed into P13 as well. So just trying to... We're, we're not got a great power unit, as you can see. Sonoda's up to P6. These cars really starting to struggle now. And through this section, we'll push. Here comes another move to P12. So any of these cars that are left out there on the dry tyres, really starting to really get the pain. And Sonoda's getting pain stuck behind Max Verstappen. He's got the Ferrari ahead of him now. Can we take P4? There's a strong chance, and we do take P4. Another great race by Yuki. What about Zhou Guan Yu? He's going to take P11 as Yuki does manage P4. Great race by Yuki, and I think that's going to be it in terms of the moves. We'll take it at Baku. That's not a bad result at all. 21 points for Yuki, 14 for Zhou Guan Yu, who found it a little bit tougher, but it is still a very solid 35 So we'll take that 35 points every day of the week. Same sort of rival. I can't remember if it exactly was, but if it was, decent point return for us there. 35 drivers, level 8, level 4. And that confirms it was the same rival. I remember the setup well. But that's a good, good 35 points. Race number seven, we've got the same guy again. We're three times, we've got the same person as we look to try and score some points. And we need 80, or is it 80, 76 points we need for 300. We need 38 points a race. That's going to be very difficult, especially here in a very tricky, in the wet as well. That's even more painful at Singapore. So we're going to have to try and see what we can do. We're going Street Shark again because we've got so many of them and we're going to have to go Merlion as well. Can we get 38 points? That in the wet, it's going to be very, very tough. We 
We're going to give it a go. We're going to give it our complete fight to get 38 points, but without changing weather, this is going to... We don't even get a perfect start this time as well, sadly, but we need big moves and Yuki Sonoda again. Now coming out the party, and he's going backwards. I mean, maybe I spoke too soon there, but he's up to P13. And it's P13 and P15 at the moment, or into P14. And these two both coming through still as we hit P13 and P12. We are going to then, as we take one more place, cut both down. Now, we're in a bit of a tricky spot here because both of these are together and we can only really do a 3-3. Free free. That's going to be my pain. So we're going to have to push one a little bit more. And with good job, we've got Yuki ahead because he's got the faster pit time boost on. So we're going to have to try and manage this all the way. We are right on the cusp of doing three laps as well. That's going to be annoying as we try and get past. We could go to two laps, but that's even going to be very tough. And as we look to try and... I mean, Rivals got past us as well. So this is going to be very difficult. We're going to double stack. But there is literally not another way. A 2 3 1 is going to struggle around here because of the AI tend to try and pit lap 4. So we can try and push and try and get past. We're going to get past Alonso, are we here? Yes, we can. So we're building a little bit of a gap. And I don't mind Zhou Guan Yu moving backwards because it means that just a few temps extra is going to fall Yuki's way. And we're actually past the rival now as we take a great effort into P9. But Rival uses a bit of boost and comes back past. We're going to use a little bit of boost. And we're going to get held off. Typical. And servicing, as you can see, very tough on us too. But we are right behind Carlos Sainz. Struggling to get past. Look at Zhou Guan Yu's power unit. And here we're going to look at a move through Sainz. P8, come on. We've not got a lot of tyre management here. We're going to try and just push out of this corner. You can see the gap to behind. We've got a second or two as well in the bank. Servicing is very rough. Only 7% that we've got at the minute. I think we've got enough to push in. It's going to be close. Component failure for the rival. And we're going to time it to perfection. So some are going to come in lap three. Some are going to come in lap four. We've got no other choice but to double stack. And it's only cost us about a second. I will live with that 100%. Rival carrying on, trying to do four laps, but surely they're going to break down with that servicing that we see so difficult around this track. And already, Sonoda up to P10. It's a brilliant return outlap for Sonoda already. Zhou Guan Yu can push, push a little bit as he sits in P19. And now we try and push and get Yuki ahead. Yuki could get a big undercut very nice here. Here comes Zhou Guan Yu into P18. That's a good move. And we're going to try and get the undercut done on him as well. And then we will push down. Rival failure. We knew that was coming. We called it very early. And now Yuki Tsunoda moves up to a brilliant P4. What about Zhou Guan Yu, who's trying to get past George Russell? And it's looking like he's going to take P14. It does indeed. So I think that might be pretty much the best we could potentially get from Zhou Guan Yu. But we're going to obviously try and get some more. As, it, as we talk about that, we get George Russell as well. So we're going to have to watch the tyres. We're going to get hard, hard attack by Perez, probably on Sonoda as well. But let's see what we can do. We're going to push Zhou Guan Yu so he keeps P13. He's defended well and he's looking at Carlos Sainz. Sonoda coming over the line to start the last lap. And Zhou Guan Yu, we are really trying to get sneak a move past Sainz round the outside. That is perfect. We needed that. And now we are right on the back of Lando as well. The points are probably going to come from Yuki here as we try and push forward. We needed 38. We're not going to get 38, sadly. And it's a very difficult track to do it on as well, as you probably all know. Rivals pushing. We haven't got the tyres, I don't think, to go ahead and match that. So we go down to P13. Yuki's up to P3. That's a position back. We're going to push us in now as well. Can we get ahead of Sonoda for one more crucial point? It's 22 for Sonoda. It's not going to be great for Zhou Guan Yu. 
who struggles, comes over P13. It's only 12. It's agonizing 34. So four points short in that race. That means we need 42 from the very last race if we want to hit that 300 point. Let's just show you where we are with one race to go. 258. We need 42 to hit 300. That is the big one. What do we got? Miami with a chance of rain. There is a chance we could sneak 42 points. Are you ready? Let's give it a go. Come on. Will we get the same guy again? <laughs> Let's find out. Let's search as we go racing here for race number eight, the final one of part two. So Miami race number eight, and it's a different person that we are facing right now. So can we get, we know the target, 42. Come on, push me all the way for that 42 point. We need a bit of rain luck. We need a bit of wet weather when everyone's on dry. P18 and P22, we are starting and what's it look like on the weather? One minute and one minute 20. This could be interesting. Remember, everyone's going to pit on lap number three here. So we are going to pit and we're going to do the same what we did last one. Here we go. Come on. Can we do it? 42 points. Let's go. So this is going to be difficult because everyone's going to pit lap three. So we're probably going to end up pitting lap one and lap two. It's going to be tough because I think lap three could be optimum for the pit stop. And it's a great start, though, for Zhou Guan Yu, P14. Sonoda pushing as well. And here comes Zhou Guan Yu trying to take the inside line, taking now P number 12. Can he get past Piastri? Yes, he can. And we are up to P11 with Yuki P16 as he makes a small overtake. Can we get any more as we look to push hard? 30 seconds and then it's another minute and then the track will dry. It'd be interesting to see exactly when this cutover is. But I tell you what, Zhou Guan Yu is already up to P8. Yuki Tsunoda coming down. We are going to pit because we need to get these on the opposite strategies. Zhou Guan Yu taking P7 from Sainz. And I feel like this is our only chance here. Tsunoda comes in early, doing the master of undercuts as we always do. And I think this could still work because it's going to see us up to lap four as Zhou Guan Yu takes matters into his own hands and gets up to P6. Yuki has come out in clear air. He can now push, and he can push pretty hard. Zhou Guan Yu were pushing as well to try and improve on that P6. It's going to be a minute, and I tell you what, I think we're bang on the strategy here. I think we're bang on it to get, especially the 42. That would be big. We're going to come in now with Zhou Guan Yu. We are going to drop back. But everyone's going to pit next time around onto wets. We're already going to be on wets. They're going to stay out for three laps. And we are going to be in position A for the dry tyres. Telling you. I can see it already as Sonoda now starts to make his way. And it's two overtakes in one corner or one straight. And we are in P21, P22. It sounds terrible. But actually, when you look at what's around... We are going to make a big big jump. It's a tough, tough pit lane here as well. You can see 20 seconds. So all these are going to go on to the wets, and then it's going to start getting dry very quickly. We've got P19. We've got P22. Everybody, if you've watched my strategy guide, I told you everyone comes into the pits. And here they go. And this is the undercut of dreams. Zhou Guan Yu, can he hold one of them cars he can he can take p3 and now look at the weather it is starting to dry very very quickly but there's rain in a minute and 40 so it's going to get messy this race going to get very messy you can see it's going down by literally more than one a second so we are going to come in not this time i think we'll leave it out here for Zhou guan yu or will we pick Zhou guan yu What's the gap? Let's pit him. Let's get him a quick stop. Because this is going to get dry on this track pretty quickly, I believe. We're going to go backwards. We need a good stop by Zhou Guan Yu. We didn't do servicing on purpose. Yes, perfectly timed. 32 now, with a minute still. This could be perfect. This could be so good, because it's about to go dry halfway around this lap. 
and we've got both cars in a very good situation because they can do one more lap and then it's going to start raining again. And that's when the AI will start to pick up. Now it's dry. Now we make our moves. We wanted 42 points. This is our best chance to get it. It's a completely dry track. We can make some big ground on these soft tyres now. We're going to push while we've got the chance. Everyone's on wets. We're going to fly past. We've got one more lap. We might have to service. I feel like we are going to have to service. It's only going to cost us a second. But look at this. P3. Now the heavy rain is about to start. So we're going to come back onto the wet stuff. And it's good power unit here by Sonoda. So he's up to P7. We're now going to conserve. We are not going to take servicing here for Zhou Guan Yu. We are going to have to with Sonoda as we come in for wets. There's a couple of cars that will go round. And look at now, everyone is coming in. We're going to get done by a double stack, I think. Oh, no, we're not again. It's perfect. Come on. Edge of the seat stuff. This car surely going to be running out of tyres. We've took a risk with the servicing on Zhou Guan Yu in the hope that he can make amends. These are going to run out of tyres a bit later on. And when I say later on, I mean literally about now. We can push with Yuki. We're so close with Zhou Guan Yu, but look at the tyres. They are about to run out ahead of us. We've only got 6% though. Is the risk worth it? Here they come. They're out of tyres. Can we take P3? Yes, we can. It's up to P3 for Zhou Guan Yu. Perfect servicing as well. Sonoda is going to take 30... Well, 19. It's going to be 41 points. <laughs> oh, no. 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 Our perfect strategy is going to absolutely leave us just short, I think, of that target. Agonising. But what a race that was. That was actually, I would like to call, strategy perfection. Because we matched that weather to an absolute T. You can see that stint on the softs really projected us up the field after that very early undercut as well. Level four, level four for the rival. More speed than cornering again. I think I know what we're on. I think we're on 299. Let's see. Let's see. I'm sure we are. Oh, no. Oh, wow. We pushed hard and we had some absolute terrific strategies in part one and part two. We actually got really lucky in them first two races with the traffic as well. And we were so close to getting 300 points. That was the target. We were literally one place. And when you look through the previous races or videos, there was probably one easy overtake there that we just didn't do. But... Part one and part two of opening round is complete. We hopefully should be back tomorrow for part one and part two of the final round. But I really hope you have enjoyed this free-to-play opening round. I've absolutely loved it. It's been brilliant racing as we look to battle the field. I hope you go and absolutely smash your round. Remember, if you've made it far in this video, there is strategies that I uploaded on Friday. And you can go and take a look and see the strategies that I do. And as you can see... If you look down the bottom for Miami, that, what I just showed you from the early pit stops, is the go-to from the back. I did tell you that. But good luck. Appreciate you watching this video. Hit like, hit subscribe, show your support. And honestly, good luck tomorrow. Good luck in your opening round. Come on, bring the points and the prizes home.